Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome to a different kind of video where we're going to talk about the new DLC for Project Hospital. So it is called Hospital Services. This is the Steam page, so I'll link it down below in the description so you can come and check this out. So the new DLC, what do we know? So we know it's called Hospital Services. We know it's going to be coming out late April, so we don't know when that is. So it says hospital services will be available before the end of April for $7.99 US dollars and euros, slash your regional equivalent, obviously. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. Um, this was announced on the 3rd of April, so they're giving us a little bit of warning, but it's really, really excited. So let's just read this top bit here, and then I've got some pictures to show you. I've found a few bits um, here and there, and we'll talk through each picture and have a bit of a look. So the DLC contains two new departments and brings more life to the hospitals with visitors coming to see your patients and a lots more activities for your staff. Let us name a few new features. Pharmacy, staff training, cafeteria, janitor management, visitor's lounge and gift shop for your lobbies. On the other end of the spectrum, there's pathology as an individual department where you can perform autopsies and find out more about what went wrong. So there's lots and lots to talk about. So let's address each of those separately. Um, I've got a few pictures. Um, and a few things like that. So let's start off with talking about the two new departments. So the first department that we definitely know is coming to the game is pathology. And this is going to be a really interesting one because for you to have pathology, I think we're going to need to have an increase in how easy it is for someone to die in the game. Well, for a patient, hopefully not staff. So here you can see it's quite clearly a morgue with a pathology lab behind that. And I just think for this to be a real department and for us to get real use out of it, we're going to have to have an increase in how many patients die in our hospitals. So that's going to be really, really interesting. But you can see the lovely, um, probably stone cold slabs that they're having the dead bodies on. And then, like I said, behind that, you can see like the pathology lab in the background, um, some cool little bits of like instrument tables there. There's definitely a new table. So instead of having the lab desk, there's definitely like a little, uh, a smaller desk. You can see things like the whiteboard. Um, these screens at the back, I'm interested to see what these are gonna be. You see those long slabs on the back next to the windows? I don't know if that's like a, is it like a TV monitor where they can have things on it? Or is it like a magnetic board where you can put lots of files up and pictures, stuff like that? So please let me know down below in the comments because you, you guys know a lot more about it than me. And you can see these scales above the, the slabs in the pathology lab. You can see the scales, so obviously they can weigh organs and all of that kind of stuff. So really excited to see pathology, but I think the gameplay is going to have to change for us to be able to use pathology and the morgue. Because like here, look, they've got... They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tables in the morgue. I mean, that's a lot of dead bodies, isn't it? So very, very interesting what they're going to be doing with pathology. The next apartment is a bit of a mystery. It really is a bit of a mystery. They haven't told us what it is. We had this on Twitter, Facebook, all of that kind of stuff a few weeks ago, and it was trying to get us to guess what department this new instrument was going to be um, part of. So it's some kind of um, camera, endoscopic camera. So you can see down, um, you know, throats. See, I assume you'd see like through intestines or that kind of stuff. So it's an ENT workstation. Now ENT is ear, nose and throat. So we already have an ENT mod that's out there for an ENT department. However, the correct answer to this apparently was actually internal medicine. So is this just as it's rumoured, just an addition to internal medicine? Or is this a little bit of a indication that we're going to get an ENT, ear, nose, throat department in the game? So we're going to have to wait and see what the other new department is in this brand new DLC. 
One of the other brand new features that we're going to be getting in a DLC is the cafeteria. So I'm so excited for this guys. I think this is one of the things that I'm actually most excited about. And I had a question for you. So post down in the comments down below, like, you know, like always, please do um, feel free to discuss. Are we going to have a new staff type? Are we going to have cooks, chefs, waitresses? I think we are going to have to have someone in this area because you can see that behind all of the food they've got like coffee machines and they've got like the larger barista coffee machines. So I think we are going to have to have a new staff type. I don't know what they would call it. I don't know if we're going to have a new staff type um, that might work a bit like a porter. So we might have a new staff type that work in the cafeterias. They transport the dead bodies around maybe. They maybe help out with visitors and in the gift shop, which is another new feature that we'll talk about. So I think in this new DLC, I think we're gonna get a new staff type. It might be a couple new staff types, who knows? But as you can see here, we've got some lovely new tables. Um, the, the round table, we've got the square table, we've got the chalkboards, there's like menus on the columns. We've got a shelf on the far right, which looks like it's holding, looks like t-shirts and DVDs and magazines to me. We've definitely got, it looks like a new coffee machine. There's something behind the pillar on the right that looks like a coffee machine, but it looks more like a smoothie maker or something or a milkshake machine. And then we looks like we've got bananas, oranges, donuts, sandwiches, water, orange juice. Uh, it looks like there's loads of new stuff here. And then there's items that we've seen before, like the fridge, the smaller coffee machine, the sink and the cupboards. So really, really excited for the cafeteria and really excited to see how it's going to work in terms of gameplay. You know, I assume this is going to be for staff, visitors and patients. Is it going to be a new need? Well, not a new need because patients have needs for food and water. But if um, Mary or whoever we want to talk about is in a ward, is she going to come downstairs or upstairs or on the same floor to the cafeteria to get something to eat or drink? So really excited for the cafeteria. And the pharmacy. So they teased us long ago, didn't they, about the pharmacy. So it is confirmed that pharmacy is coming into the game. And this is an interesting one because A, the person sat behind the counter. I think this is confirming that we're getting at least one new staff type unless they use something like a technician. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how many new staff types they bring to the game. Are they going to bring specific staff types like um, a pharmacologist for pharmacy, a chef or a restaurant worker for the cafeteria, a retail worker for the gift shop, or are all of these going to be under one umbrella of staff? So really interested to see that. So I assume that what this is going to be for is people picking up antibiotics, um, pain medication, you know, all sorts of creams, medicines, ointments. But an interesting thing that I thought of is here, they've got it right next to the front entrance of this hospital that they've built, right next to the reception. Is this going to be available for people to come in from the local area and pick up medicine without seeing a doctor first? That's going to be something that I'm going to be quite interested to see. Is this just for patients in the hospital or can people come into the hospital to collect their medication? So really, really excited for that. We can see a few new items. There's like the signboards above the person behind the counter's head. That probably says you know, like um, queue here or wait here. Uh, it looks like there's a new computer, um, which is probably also like a cash register, which the person in the picture is using. There's definitely a new counter. There's new shelves and tables that are holding all of those medicines and the new signs with the first aid cross. So really, really excited to see how much the pharmacy is going to give us. Is it just a new way for patients to collect medicines or is it going to be much more than that? So really excited to see the pharmacy. Don't worry, I haven't gone mad. I know that this is two point hospital that you're seeing just here. But what I thought is the staff training. They've mentioned that they're bringing staff training into the game. Is it going to be like in two point hospital and theme hospital? where we have a classroom that people can go to and they can learn new skills. So really interesting how they're going to do that. Can you have an intern, for example, an intern doctor, let's say, that can go to a classroom and learn to then become a surgeon? 
So I think that is how they're gonna do it, but please comment down below how you think they're gonna deal with staff training. Another quick clip here of Two Point Hospital, and it's gonna be really interesting to see how they do this. So this is for janitor management. So I imagine it's going to be to select what tasks your janitor can do in your hospitals. So really excited to see how they're gonna do this. And it might include us having to maintain equipment. And last but not least, two other new features we're gonna have is the visitor's lounge and a gift shop. So the visitor's lounge, that's gonna be interesting. I imagine that's just gonna be quite a basic room where you can put in some items like we have in the waiting rooms, like benches, vending machines, tables, maybe a loo. So quite interesting to see that, but the fact that they've said that they're gonna bring in a visitor's lounge is obviously obvious that they're gonna bring in visitors. So I hope that what that's going to do is we're gonna see some different age ranges because obviously something that is missing from the game is children. We don't see any children. We see some elderly people, kind of, um, but it's just like hair that you kind of realize that someone might be older than someone else. So really interesting if we're gonna see children and hopefully elderly people. And I know on their form they mentioned that a couple of new features they wanted to bring into the game were things like helicopters and wheelchairs. So I wonder if this is a DLC where we're gonna see some wheelchairs coming into the hospital and patients walking and moving in different ways. And the gift shop is gonna be interesting. Um, really excited to see what the gift shop's gonna give to the game. You know, can a visitor go to a gift shop pick something up like a teddy bear or some flowers for someone, then go up to the ward, visit the person, and does that teddy or flower or you know what whatever it is, does that stay with the patient? Does that give them a bit of a boost of morale? So really, really excited to see how the gift shop and visitor lounge is going to work in the game and what it's going to give to us playing in the game. Is it going to give these extra bits of gameplay? So I really hope you enjoyed the video guys. That's it from me today. Please, please feel free to comment down below. Um, this is what it's all about. Yeah, these are my opinions. Um, some things are fact. Most of these things are just my opinion and me kind of thinking about what they're gonna bring into the game. But all in all, I'm really, really excited. Um, when you think that, you know, it's $8, which for me, that's about six pounds, 14 pounds sterling. That's not very expensive at all. So if for £6.40, if we're getting two new departments, you know, so many new rooms and hopefully new staff types, £6.40, I think, is a complete bargain. So really, really excited to see what's going to come in a new DLC. Of course, we are going to be covering it on the channel here. Um, I'd like to see someone stop me. So really, really excited to see that. Really excited to get my teeth into it. I imagine now it's not too long. You know, we've only got two weeks until the end of April, so it's, this could be something that we're seeing in about a week. Um, obviously, we might have new pictures and things coming out in the meantime, so um, apologies if something comes out that hasn't been included in this video, but I've made it on the 16th of April, so we might have some new pictures of things coming out quite soon. Um, take care of yourselves. I hope you're staying safe um, with the lockdown and everything, and I'll see you in the next video. So take care of yourselves, and I'll see you later. Thank you very much for watching the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Have a great day, see you later.